Y'all, do you guys ever do uh, monochromatic wreaths? Hey, Sarah. Sarah, have you tried going live since everything updated on Facebook? It's all jacked up. All right, so we have our wreath frame. Y'all, this is also some, uh, I'm going to say it's value mesh. You can see right through it. We're going to use that. All right. Y'all, we also use an oversized sun, so we'll see how that goes. All right, with the mesh, we're gonna start on the top of the frame. You wanna make sure you get it nice and tight in there. Measure to every other twist and then pull it back and add it to the twist. called monochromatic when everything is just the same colors so everything on this wreath is going to be black and white all right so y'all if you ever work with value mesh it's extremely what's well, a nice way to put it it's rough We'll just say that. We'll just say it's rough. It doesn't hold its shape very well, and it kind of just does what it wants. See how this one's like just coming out this way? Y'all. If you ever see someone complaining on Facebook that their base didn't come out right, 99% of the time, it's because they started with value mesh and it's not making the shape that they want it to. All right, so we went all the way around the top. Y'all, we're gonna go straight down to the bottom of the frame and keep going around. All right, y'all. 10 inch poofs around the bottom as well. Y'all. I did a lot of work uh, on membership stuff today. Trying to make some training super simple. We'll see how it goes. So I needed to get to the warehouse and just make something.
Why am I using it? Because I have it. And because it's still usable. We're almost done with the base. All right, last poof. All right, so we went all the way around the top with 10 inch poofs, all the way around the bottom with 10 inch poofs. Y'all, we don't make them perfect because we cover most of them up, right? So this is just to give us a really good base frame. So let's get our 10 inch mesh out and cut us something. All right. Y'all, so this is a 10 inch mesh. This is a solid black with a white snowball stripe in it. This one is a fabric mesh. We're gonna cut them about 20 inches long. And we're gonna need one ruffle for every twist. So we're gonna need nine cuts total, which will give us the 18. Y'all know I'm not good at cutting, so hopefully we get this right. We need five more. Y'all, I think that's nine. Y'all, as you cut into your uh, rotary cut, your rotary mat for a long time, you're gonna start to uh, actually cut through that mat and stuff's gonna sink into it. So that's why we have little fuzzies left. 
Can I make this a kit? Um, I didn't even try. All right. So now we're going to take each one of our cuts. We're going to just curl it up a little bit on each end and then ruffle it right down the middle and then add one of those ruffles into every twist on the frame. Y'all, that little curl on the end helps hide some of that fraying mesh. Can you list the qualities of different meshes? Carol, I'm pretty sure I already have that done. If you go check out um, our blog at howtomakewreaths.com slash blog. Y'all look how pretty those colors are. You love my shirt? Thank you. This is one of the ones that uh, we sell to raise money for rescues. Catherine in Colorado, we're doing good. The weather is finally not uh, crazy hot. It's comfortable outside. The base would be cool for a Beetlejuice wreath. Yeah, but I don't like to get fined or break the law. So we're gonna just stick to a dog wreath. Well, get it girl. Caroline's just throwing it all out there. Um, is the mesh in stock at Deco Exchange? The white 21 inch mesh came out of my personal stash, uh, but the two 10 inch meshes were from the warehouse. Catherine, I would try decoexchange.com. All right, y'all, we went all the way around the bottom. Now we're gonna go to the top. All right, so let's continue to ruffle up our 20 inch cuts.
Deb, this is uh, not an evergreen wreath. This is a metalwork wreath. What's up, Debbie Davis? Y'all, halfway done. Do you open the twist back up or just add it on top? I just add it on top. Y'all, you know what happens if you keep um, opening the twist ties and closing them back? You end up with a whole lot of extra twist tie at the end that looks awkward. If you just keep placing it in, twisting it off, it gets shorter every time. Teresa's already made three wreaths this weekend. Teresa, you've been busy. All right, last one. What's up, Connie? Uh, y'all, let me just tell y'all a little thing. Connie did a free giveaway the other night and I didn't win. So, there's that. Y'all, the, um, the snow drift is making my nose itch. All right, so there's our base. Nice and pretty. It makes me want to sneeze. Does anyone else, like, whenever they're trying not to sneeze, like, rub the top of, like, in between their eye and their bridge? Like, if you do that, it'll keep you from sneezing. But it also looks like you're picking your nose, so you got to be careful. All right, y'all, our sign is pretty big. All right, it's not coming through the front. We're good. We'll put a pipe cleaner on all four corners. Y'all, I almost grabbed the orange one. Not what we need. Twist that off. All right, 
Y'all, if you want to, you can take your super glue and add just a little dab of super glue around those staples in the wood. All right, y'all, while that's drying, while that's drying, we're gonna make our first bow. Y'all, I only got black and white ribbon as well. So we're gonna start with our four inch. Y'all, if you haven't yet, share the video. That'd be great. Or tag a dog lover. That'd be even better. All right, do you guys know how to tag? You hit the at sign and then start typing their name. All right, so we're gonna do a 10 inch tail, pinch it, give it a little twist. Measure out about six and a half inches. Turned out to be seven, it'll be fun. All right, so that's a four inch base. Y'all, we're going to go in with a little bit of this black and white check. Y'all, side note here, uh, Miss Charlotte Dunkel, who just commented, y'all, she is donating a fake bake tutorial to help raise money for the Christmas challenge or the mantle challenge to help us buy gifts for kids at Christmas. So y'all, shout out Charlotte. Tell her thank you. All right, this one, we're gonna do about five and a half. Now y'all, I'm gonna take this one that matches the four inch. And just do a single strip. Y'all, let's go with the black and white check.
Y'all, I'm gonna use this polka dot with the black edging because it matches this ribbon that we used earlier. All right, y'all. I just found this laying on my table. I'm guessing Mel used it while she was here. It's a solid black velvet with the black and white check on the other side. Y'all, I'm gonna put a single strip of this one right in here, because why not? And then we're gonna finish it off with a one and a half inch dog paw. All right, y'all, for this one, we're definitely gonna wanna use two pipe cleaners. Twist them together. Give them a tug, make sure they're not gonna come apart. Gonna slide the bow out. Wrap my pipe cleaner right around the middle. Give it a push down with my thumb and between my two fingers. And then give it a twist. All right, y'all, there's bow number one. Let's get our sign added to our wreath so we can see how much room we have for other bows, right? So this sign is pretty big compared to normal, right? So let's get this attached. So y'all, we're just gonna run those pipe cleaners right through the mesh and then wrap it around the wire frame. Do I still have ribbon from floor to ceiling? I have ribbon in two different spaces floor to ceiling. All right, so all I'm doing is wrapping that pipe cleaner right around the frame. So we're gonna start here, then we're gonna go down here. All right, now we're gonna twist off these two edges. Uh-oh. Y'all, we got a runaway ribbon. It's gone. A 
Alicia, it really isn't that hard. All right, and then we're gonna tie off the bottom one. All right, so we've got our sign. We got our giant bow. Let's see how we want to lay it out. Y'all, maybe just like that. So I'm just going to run the pipe cleaners through the mesh and wrap the bow right around the frame. Maybe. Y'all, it doesn't want to go through that uh, fabric mesh right now. Where do you find signs? At decoexchange.com. All right, let's twist it off. How do I come up with my designs? Uh, on this one, I found the sun, and then I decided to do everything around the sun. All right, y'all, so far, this is what we've got. So we're gonna add more up here and some more, I don't know where else, but I know we need one more bow for sure. All right, y'all, this bow, I'm not gonna put the crazy long tails. We're just gonna make a typical Terry bow. Right, so eight inch tail. About a six and a half inch loop. Y'all, now all you get in the background is my crazy neighbors. Yo, I don't remember what color was next. Let's just go for it. Now, y'all, if your bow, uh, as your bow gets smaller, if it starts to get, um, too cluttered you can just do strips instead of 
all the loops if you want. Our dogs are good. I feel like our, our single thing was next. I don't hear a pressure washer, but I hear a car alarm. Y'all, what's funny is this is not a great quality ribbon, but I absolutely love this one. Y'all, I'm going to cheat and just grab another roll of this. Put in a strip of this one. And then finish it off with our puppy print. Is my warehouse in a good area of town? There's really no good area of New Orleans. You're excited to see Jordan design? Me too. Y'all, let me just be honest. That's for me. That ain't for y'all. <laughs> I'm going to be the one learning from Jordan. I don't care if y'all watch or not. Where can you get a bow maker like mine? You can try decoexchange.com. All right, get this tied off. Someone asked if you can use any other colors. Absolutely but not if you're trying to make it monochromatic. That would just be a regular wreath. Y'all, some lady is literally sending me 50,000 messages right now asking me like detailed questions. Now y'all know she knows I'm live, right? Like. And y'all know, good and well, that Boomer's like, I can't help you, friend. And she's still just a going. All right. We're going to get this tied off right up here next to the bow. Um, you can use shades of one color to get monochromatic. So
So if you're on a color chart and you start white and you slide the little bar all the way across, it goes white, gray, black. All right. Y'all. So right here, we've added our two larger bows. And now I'm gonna start working around the outside. And then we'll decide what we're gonna do here. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. All right. Y'all, I think I'm just gonna use these two ribbons. Yeah, that was a pressure washer. All right, we're gonna start with 10 cuts all the way around the base. All right, so there's our 10 two and a half inch tails. We do these at 14 inches. All right, let's measure out these. Laura's granddaughter is with her and she's gonna make a wreath tomorrow, awesome. Laura, you should definitely send me a picture of it. You can text me at 504-553-3451. All right, there's all of our 14 inch tails. Well, all the tails around the base. We'll have to see what else we do around the top. All right. So y'all, in every one of those twist ties where we put a ruffle earlier, we're gonna go ahead and add a set of tails.
So we just fold these in half. And then add those into the twist all the way around the bottom. You can get the ribbon boards at decoexchange.com. Seventy one in North Texas, that's about what it's like out here. It's really nice. Y'all, on your ribbon tails, make sure you use a good quality ribbon so that they hold their shape. If you don't, you're gonna be disappointed. How do I ship this size wreath? Uh, in a box? So this will go in a 22 by 22 by 12 box and we will use our business contract to ship it. Awesome, Tanya. What did you make? So y'all, I'm not opening up the twist ties. I'm just adding the ribbon right on top and twisting it off nice and tight. I didn't lose connection. I don't know. I still see the video. Sandra says she tried her first wreath today. Sandra, what did it look like? What was the season? Y'all almost done with the tails. Facebook didn't shut me down. Still live. Still watching it. Uh, Joni, we actually have more bonuses to add to the Mantle Madness. I secured a few more today.
All right, last set of tails around the bottom. All right, let's look at it. Yo, we got to move our bow around a little bit. Y'all, now we just need to add something down here and something up here to kind of finish it off. All right, so for that, y'all, we are just going to do a single uh, two tails and a loop on both sides. Melissa, it's okay if you don't have a mantle. Uh, you'll be able to recreate it on a um, table, on a centerpiece, on a hutch or just learn how to make the designs to use individually. All right, y'all, so look, because we need a smaller bow, we're gonna do it like this. One loop, two tails, and we're just gonna rotate back and forth. So this will make our bow about half the size of the other ones. So y'all, they're just about a half an inch smaller every time. Do our solid black stripe in there. And then we're gonna finish it with our dog paws. Take our two pie cleaners, twist these together real quick.
Y'all, so basically half the amount of loops. Same amount of tails, half the amount of loops. So that it's just a little bit smaller than the other ones. And I'm gonna place it out here on this edge. How do you know how big to make a bow? Um, honestly, it's just a lot of practice. Y'all, I don't think I want a whole nother bow at the top. I think I'm just going to do some ribbon tails out the top. Are a portion of a bow. Let me figure out what we're going to do up there. Maybe I'll just use some of the colors to do something up there. Yeah, I haven't had any issues. I'm watching it with y'all. How much for this wreath? Um, I'll probably sell it for like one thirty. Sandy, we have kids bow makers. They're on the website. Look, it's a kids easy bow maker. All right, this one I'm just gonna add a single stripe. Kim, it's only gonna cost me about $18 to ship that wreath. All right, last loop.
get that twisted off. Jordan Matthew, we were just talking about you, friend. All right, let's get this last bow up here at the top. Y'all. Y'all. So, while there's 1,400 of you here, let me tell y'all a little secret. Me and the other creative coaches in my business and Jordan Matthew uh, decided to put together a weekend event where we're going to teach people how to create a garland, wreaths, centerpieces, all the things that you need to decorate for fall. And... You can join us at damonsmantle.com. Y'all, on top of that, some of our friends have donated a Ragbow tutorial. We've got two people donating fake bake tutorials. Um, our friends at Acardio, uh, Arcadia Floral and Home Design. Um, I think she's gonna do us a centerpiece. If you guys know her work at all, you're in for a treat. Um, Luz at Lee Wreath is going to uh, do a tutorial for y'all. We've got vendor discounts. We're gonna stage a mantle, a tablescape. Um, the ladies at Decorators Warehouse are going to do a whole second garland. Y'all. Y'all. It's $20. And we're doing it to raise money to buy Christmas gifts for underprivileged kids. So, not only do you get a ton of content to learn, but you also get to help make some kids' Christmas dreams come true. All right, that's my only my only pitch for tonight, y'all. Oh, Trendy Tree is also doing something. I don't know what yet. Y'all, this whole time, I forgot to drink my Coke. All right. Y'all, let's trim our tails up. Y'all, I know that wreaths with all the ribbon are not everyone's thing. But, y'all, they're what sell best for me and for my customers. So the more bows and ribbon that I can add, the more they buy. That doesn't mean that your customers like it or that you like it, and I'm okay with that. Can you donate more? There was an option to donate whenever you signed up at the bottom. When do you, where do you sign up? You can go to Damon's Mantle Challenge. No, damonsmantle.com. Y'all, it's pinned down here. Let me just do it again. Uh, damonsmantle.com.
All right, let's trim this one down. Y'all, all I'm doing is folding the ribbon in half and cutting it at an angle. Your shop's going dead again. I would review your inventory to see what you have in your shop first. Make sure what you have is what people are currently shopping for. And then make sure your photos and your SEO is on point. Oh, and I forgot. Y'all, one more thing. I forgot. Tammy Hodges is also going to be here. And Nick Criticos may be here. He's thinking about coming, but y'all, he's scared of the Rona. So if you guys see Nick on a Facebook Live anytime soon, harass him and tell him that he needs to come to the Mantle Challenge and hang out with us. When is it going to be? It is going to be November 6th and 7th. Yeah. Y'all, so if you don't know, every year we raise money for, uh, we call it the Christmas Blessings Project. We, um, we make sure that uh, the Battered Women's Shelter has everything they need for Christmas. We also um, provide the Battered Women's Shelter with uh, interview clothes. So if you guys don't know what happens is basically most of those women just leave everything they have and take themselves and their children and they run. Right? And they have to start all over. Well, step one in that start over is trying to find a job. So I donate clothes and time to help them prepare for interviews. And then we make sure that their kids have um, all the gifts they need, the stockings, the Christmas trees, all those things. Um, then the other one that we also tackle is the uh, elderly homes. Right? There's a lot of people who, I don't know how, but they somehow, you know, forget their parents and grandparents at Christmas time. So we try to go take care of that. Y'all, if you go to damonsmantle.com, you can actually see pictures from last year and you can see Parker's wrapping Christmas presents face, which is so funny. Y'all, we had to do like, y'all, one year we literally had like 20 bicycles in our dining room. It was hilarious. It is a lot of black and white, Parker Stelly. What if the women doesn't have kids? Then I don't buy their kids a gift Christmas gift, but I still make sure they have interview clothes and all the things they need to get back on their feet. Can all women join? Claudette, I don't think there's any women's shelter that'll be like, I'm sorry, you can't come because you don't have kids. That's not, that's not how they work, friend. All right, y'all, lots of black and white. 
lots of ribbon, bark less, wag more. Y'all, I can think of a few dogs and people that should take that advice. We're a blessing to many people. Joyce, here's the thing. Um, all of you allow us to help people and it's amazing and we appreciate it. And that's why I like to tell you guys when we do it. Right? So that you guys know what you're a part of and what our community did together. So thank you for supporting us, showing up, and allowing us to do these amazing things. Couldn't do it without you, friends. All right, y'all. That's it. It's done. All right. Y'all. Until next time, go check out damonsmantle.com and uh, check out Parker's face. While you're there, sign up, join us, and sponsor a few gifts, y'all. Y'all have a good